Scotty Blocks is a channel for older teenage and adult fans and collectors. Videos may contain strong language and adult humour. Scotty Blocks is not made for kids. Hello and welcome to another Scotty Blocks video. Today we are looking at Lego Fabuland set 3782 Patrick Parrot, dating from 1982. Fabuland was a Lego theme aimed at kids aged 4 to 8 and produced between 1979 and 1989. It was meant to be a step between Duplo and Lego proper. Larger elements and bright colours made it easier for younger kids to use. Characters were all animals and had their own individual names. Fabuland is my first memory of Lego. I don't recall having Duplo, but I certainly remember loving Fabuland and its figures. Packaging is very simple, a see-through plastic carton with the figure in one compartment and accessories in the other. On top is a card flap, one side is an illustration of the set, the reverse has pictures of the Fabuland range. What you do is peel the card flap along the perforations. Once the flap is detached, on the back is another set of perforations. Then the flap opens up, revealing pictures of Patrick Parrot taking pictures of himself doing stunts on his scooter. And it doesn't go too well by the looks of things. We also get paragraphs about Patrick Parrot in three languages, none of them are English, and unfortunately I'm not intelligent enough to speak foreign languages. The plastic carton opens like this, and we can tip out all the pieces. There are only four pieces, a red motor scooter, pannier bags, a very old-fashioned looking camera, and a wrench for when Patrick Parrot needs to beat someone to death. We simply put the panniers on the rear of the scooter, then the wrench goes in one of these two holes. Unfortunately, there's nowhere to stow the camera. If these had been clips, or even just one clip and one hole, we could have attached it like that. But no, when Patrick is driving along, he has to awkwardly hold his camera in front of him like that. Yes, I'm sure that's not going to lead to any fatal accidents. Let's take a look at the main man, or main parrot. Patrick has standard Fabuland figure articulation, arms, legs, and the neck is on a ball joint, allowing an Exorcist 360 and lots of posability for the head. If I stand next to Patrick, you get a better idea of the scale of Fabuland figures. Their hands can hold any Lego minifigure accessories. In fact, some Fabuland accessories have been used in other themes, most notably Harry Potter for cauldrons and broomsticks. One major issue with Fabuland is paint rub. Painted details on the figures are easily damaged, and if you are buying pre-owned sets, it is very difficult to get them in 100% condition because of this. Patrick is brand new out of the box, and he has paint damage on his beak. The bird characters are notorious for paint issues on the beak. Over time, through play, it's not unusual to see them missing most of their beak colour. I tried running the French text on the flap through Google Translate, but I've not got the hang of the app yet, so have to rely on what I can make out. Which is basically that Patrick Parrot, or Pierre Parroquet, is good at taking photos and tours on his motor scooter for photography. Yeah, my language skills are fucking awful. Let's look at this picture in more detail. Patrick is lurking in the bushes with his camera, thinking about a female mouse. The only female mouse in the Fabuland theme is Marjorie Mouse from set 3704, so it must be her. Is Patrick a stalker, trying to get photos of Marjorie for his private collection? Suddenly this kid's toy does not seem so wholesome. Or is Marjorie famous, and Patrick is trying to get snaps of her to sell to those trashy celebrity gossip magazines? 
and if anyone catches Patrick and asks him what he is doing, he will bash them on the head with his wrench. I think Police Chief Bertie Bulldog needs to investigate. Oh yeah, work it baby, give me angry, give me fierce, give me strong. Macho, macho man, he man want to be a macho man. The lens loves you. I can't actually remember if I bought this set on eBay or Bricklink, so that's handy. Nor can I remember how much I paid for it, but whatever the price, it is totally worth it. I never had this particular set as a kid, however, Fabuland holds many happy childhood memories for me. I bought this set for a few reasons. Firstly, because Patrick is a photographer, and I'm a keen photographer myself. Also, I have a good friend who's actually called Patrick, and he's an avid photographer too. He's much better with a camera than I am. He's had work published, and he actually did the photography at my wedding. Most of all, I bought it because Fabuland makes me happy. Would I recommend this set? Hell yes, if you collect historical Lego products, if you collect Fabuland, and if, like myself, you have strong nostalgic feelings for Fabuland. Just study pictures carefully, if buying a pre-owned set, to see what condition Patrick Speak is in. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more Fabuland showcases, I highly recommend you check out Robin Hull Builds, here on YouTube and on Instagram. He's got a huge Fabuland collection, really knows its history and characters, and is a thoroughly decent person too. Robin was kind enough to send me one of his sig figs, and I wanted to include him in this video, but unfortunately I can't find him at the moment. My minifigure collection is currently split between four locations, although I'm sure he'll feature in another review. Looks like the Shopkins are back. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so. New and existing subscribers, be sure to set the bell icon to receive all notifications from my channel. I'll leave you with a link to some more of my videos, plus an icon to take you to Robin Hull Builds, if I can figure out how to do that. Please check out the other channels I'm subbed to, you won't be disappointed. I will see you again when I can with another Scotty Blocks video.